Hi everyone, it's Bruns here, welcome back to another video and today we are playing some more Evil Dead the game but we are playing the so much anticipated update from the 8th of September where everything changes. And trust me, everything is changed. Item exploit drop is gone, reduced number of cars, that's real, new demon, new survivors. I'm loving playing with the Plague Bringer. You guys know that I main the demon and she really plays differently from the other demons. She's First of all, she and her units have Blight, and if the survivors get Blighted, they get reduced healing from all sources. The Witch on her units, they use Infernal Energy to activate their abilities, but rather than going into cooldowns, you can use as much as you want until you run out of Infernal Energy. Also, the more you use a certain ability, the more Infernal Energy is gonna cost you. So that really changes how the game plays for the demon, in my opinion. So in this video, we're gonna go through the, all the abilities of the witch and we're gonna go through the abilities of the basic and the elite units. And then I'm gonna show you the build I'm currently using, which so far has yielded me a few wins. I did lose a match um, already to a group of survivors, which were really neat, but I'm just getting my head around the Plague Bringer because it, it, she does feel different. So one of the attacks of the witch is Potion Pitcher, so she can throw two potions. If she hits a survivor, the survivor will be infected with Blight and will take damage to health and shield. If she hits an evil unit, then they will be temporarily immune to balance bar damage. She also has Primal Scream. She will do a Piercing Howl, which will immobilize, terrify, and inflict damage on survivors. And the last one is the Grab Attack, which is similar to the other demons, where she will infect them with Blight. It cannot be dodged, and it will hold the survivors down. The Elite Units, they are resistant to melee attacks. And when they die, the bodies will liquefy. It will have a puddle on the floor that will make the survivors walk very slowly. They'll also be unable to dodge when they are in that puddle. The first attack is Corrosive Blast and the Elite will charge forward and release a toxic burst. And if it hits the survivors, they are infected with the Blight and take health damage. And the second one is Filthy Splatter and they will stomp the ground, splashing muck over nearby survivors and damaging their health. The Prisoner's Skeleton, it can dodge like all the other basic units from the other demons. It has a vicious circle attack which will do a 360 spin attack damaging all survivors around it and it has a double pierce also which will thrust its blades forward and if it hits the survivors it will infect them with the blight. The active skill of the witch is the cauldron which is called wicked brew. She will place this cauldron on the floor and it will have an aura around it. Evil units around that aura will take reduced balance bar damage and have a reduced infernal energy cost for using their abilities. And the survivors they are within the aura of the Cauldron will receive less healing from items and abilities. So a really cool new mechanic that the witch has is for the witch and the units to use their attacks, they're using Infernal Energy rather than having a cooldown. So the more you use their attacks, the more they will cost. And then the build we have today is it revolves around basics. So we have a little bit more damage onto a Vicious Circle. We also have increased damage for the Double Pierce attack. Obviously our units will have max balance bar resistance damage and also they are doing max damage. They do have full health and I have also put three points on combat fatigue so that the blight infected survivors do less damage. And this can actually turn the tide if you are on a 1v1 and you infect the survivor with blight. I have put three points on the damage dealt by the boss because she is very strong and she actually has a ranged attack which I really like, makes it for a change. And then I also maximize her active skill which is the cauldron. Another cool mechanic that they have here is for the demonic dash. The cooldown is 75 seconds. The witch is the one that can have the shortest cooldown out of all the demons so I've put max points on this and then I've put two points on Grandmaster Dash which if you hit the survivors then you will reduce the cooldown period between the portals. And that's pretty much it. Let's jump into a game. Alright guys, let's do this. Let's have a look. So objectives are decently spread out and we're gonna get it down there. So let's just go straight there and see. So we've got We've got Sonic playing with us. Hello, Sonic. So we got Arthur, two leaders, a hunter, and a support. So I really like playing with the Plague Bringer. I just feel that she's so different from the other demons. And you know, it's quite funny the way that the basic units, they dodge. It's like the skeleton bends itself backwards. It doesn't actually move out of, out of the way. <laughs> it's quite funny. It must be on the other side. Oh, they will come to pay mana. Let's go in this way then. So I have noticed that the cars, they are reduced, you know, there's still cars around Then I'll probably say that they reduce the cars maybe by 30%. It's not huge, but it's, it's decent, you know, it's decent. 
Now that the mini ashes are fixed, like they can't drop the items anymore, um, it's actually good to start using it again. Because before I never, I would never use it. Right, so let's put some points on traps and let's just drop a big trap there. Can we trap anything up here? No. Maybe we can trap something on this side, yep. So they must be close. I think they're just across the river. All right, here she comes. Just gonna come through the gate. Let's just scare her a little bit. Okay, and we can... So the what I like about the witch is that she starts regenerating Infernal Energy with one point on it. I like that. There we go, Cheryl. Let's just get some energy here. So once they come in through here... What are they waiting for? The mates to come through? Oh, she's got a knife. Oh, I got the wrong one. Oh. Oh. Wait. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. She's quite low already. I'm just gonna go in through the window. Clever. So let's put this here now. So now we get reduced balance bar damage. Oh, that was too short. Alright, she's doing the right thing, which is just run away. Oh, dismembered. That might be the counter against the witch, actually. Dismemberment. Here comes the Annie a little bit late. Let's just put this here, but then it falls on it. So that black now he's blighted. He takes less heals. You know, I'll, I'll reel up this cauldron. He just blocks the way. Come on. Oh, dodge. Did you see the dodge? He just bends backwards. Yeah, the skelly is not bad, you know. Let's get one more into traps. Oh, we don't have enough. Are they solid, this team? They look solid. I think they're just gonna get into the car, really. If I'm honest. <laughs> it's like I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're not taking this car. I'm sorry. Alright, we can get the boss out. So, why don't we just do that? So with the boss, we want to throw these potions so that they can't heal. Oh, he moved away. Damn. I messed up this boss big time. Oh, I don't have power anymore. Come here, Cheryl. Okay, so now he can't heal or he's got reduced because he got that potion on him. And we gain it, we gain infernal energy, see? So now let's throw a potion on her so she can't heal. Or she'll take you reduce the heal. Oh, we got two blighted. Wow. Mad. Uh, it, she's strong, I'll tell you there. Um, let's put another point on boss. Oh, he's got no bullets, this guy. Oh. Yeah. Got the wrong weapons for that. Now Arthur went off on his oh he's here terminal station. Okay. So we could try and get him. Oh 
Did we miss that? Damn. Where is he? He's lowering his fear. The other ones have gone for objective. I'm gonna skip bullying him a little. Let's go. And what we want is to blight him. You see it shows that little icon now, next to that, next to that portrait. Come on. Whoa. Okay, stunned. Oh, we got no energy anymore. Fine, fair. Let's get the witch and let's just kill him if we can. No, they're not far actually. Alright. Let's go. Okay. And they struggle to dodge that, the potions actually. Which is very interesting. Can it? Is it still being attacked? But no. Just want to keep the pressure on him. Oh, look at him. Trying to make me go down. It's not bad, this Arthur. They usually be squeegee. I love that she's a ranged demon. Are oh, they coming? I'm just gonna stay here. I'm just gonna sit on her. Oh, they they're here. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna run out. Ah, and they still have this problem with the with the demon dash. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's blight her. Oh, she, we missed that. And yeah, the more we attack, we do get some infernal energy. I like it. Okay, it's just crazy how much infernal energy you can accumulate with the witch. She's going for the res. We are gonna stop her. Okay, and we're gonna stop her. Oh, I just don't have enough for the witch now. I mean, just just knowing that they can't item exploit anymore, and then they, you know, just have to actually resource manage. Right, let's just do this. And he's gonna loan there again. Is that Arthur again? Oh, he's going for the car. Okay. So let's get the witch here now. Might be a waste. Come here, Cheryl. Okay, blighted. Uh, Arthur. It's just in the car waiting for them. Come on. Oh. We're stunned. Okay, now we're gonna resurrect. <laughs> oh boy. This is fun. So now when we come back like this. We have no restrictions on how much power we use. Nothing costs anything. There's no cost for the powers.
Come on. Go on, Skelly! Alright, so that... You can see that how the Inferno Energy increases the cost of it to use the powers. Okay, let's, let's trap this a little bit actually first. This... And you know one thing I noticed is that the witch on the skill tree, it doesn't have uh, an ability to slow down the the objective timer. Alright, let's get this elite. Quite like the elite actually. There's a funny, funky kind of damage. Oh, look at Arta. <laughs> it's like a wave, my god. Yeah, his double attack is almost like the puppeteers. Ship light is still. Oh, someone's down? Come on! Oh boy, just there and then. Nice. Another good thing about this elite when it dies, it melts. Alright, now nobody's healing. Come on, Arthur. Is it you? It's gonna go down. He just pierces. And Sherry just missed that. Alright, one's dead, again. Why are you getting his soul? He's gonna come back anyway. There you go. Well played, well played. Uh, let's put a more Inferno Energy. So we are being exercised a little bit closer to the... Well, it did happen in another game I had that was very much on top of it. I have a feeling they might go for to scout for some resources. So let's just drop this a little bit here. Just because why not? And they're not healing. I think they they don't have anything else. Where is he going on? To the cave? Is he, he's in the cave. Okay. Oh he was in the cave. Let's see if he's gonna stay here now. Let's blight him. I love the attack of the of these skeletons because you can just change the direction of the attack right in the last minute. That's brilliant actually. No balance bar damage with this. Very little. Yeah, he's gonna run. Which is what he should be doing. Blighted, so we gain more Inferno Energy with every attack, and then they can't they take reduced healing. Still taking damage, going for the car. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the car. Oh boy. Come on. What? You're not that squeegee anymore, aren't you? Are you? Okay. Wow, she took two hits from that circular attack. Look, can I get a trap right here? Let's just put this here. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Fine. Ah, oh, Shara's going for the rest. Again. I wanna, I wanna put the poison on Cheryl or the blight on Cheryl. 
because then the healing is less. They're all out of point. Look, they're all blighted, wow. Oh. They're not on point. It's so strange they're not on point. And they're running out of time. Come here. Let's just do this. Oh, he didn't get blighted, okay. Look at Cheryl. Is she really dying? What? That didn't hit her? That's a lot of damage. Ah, uh, we're coming back. Oh man. Very good. We're gonna get the points again. Just fine. Hmm. Okay. Let's just trap this a little bit more. Quick, 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 quick. Get one trap. Okay. And this one, can we get this trap in? Yeah, just on time. We're quite close to the dark ones, which is great. So they were all the way up. Now, I am gonna go towards them because I want to prevent them from trying to gra gather more resources. They are driving a vehicle. Maybe we can get that vehicle. Oh, Art is not moving. Okay. Try and get some energy. And then we're gonna get the witch again, I think. Maybe, maybe that will be it. Wow. He just cleaves through them. Why is she so convinced that she needs to that she needs to lower her fear? Oh any. Alright, got me. Come here, Ash. Oh boy. Okay, good. One's down. Oh. Alright, they're gonna try and come back. They need to, they want to get him one way or another. Let's grab him as well. They're trying to grab a car, I think. Alright. You, Arthur. There you go, guys. The demon is back. The demon is back. Alright, look at the circle closing in. Come here. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Alright, and he's worrying about the fire. Well, wow, they're all gonna stay behind into the circle, so this thing is over, Annie. Last one, last hit. There we go. Nice. So, guys, the demon is back. This absolutely destroys now. And just the fact that all the exploits are gone, it just makes it for a fairer game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.
time has come. Humankind will drown in the...